If you want to visit Istanbul for the first time and have a three-day program, we have compiled the important places to see for you such as museums, palaces, mosques, historical bazaars and many more. You can subscribe to our channel before starting this video. We go to the Grand Bazaar on the first day. The Grand Bazaar, located in the Bayezid district of Istanbul, is one of the oldest and largest covered bazaars in the world with its history and size. While there are more than 3,500 shops in the bazaar, the number of visitors to the bazaar can exceed 40 million a year. Do not spend too much time because you will not have much time and energy for other places. After leaving the Grand Bazaar, we walk down the tram direction towards Sultanahmet. If you wish, you can take the tram, but it is not too far. You can have your lunch in Sultan Ahmet Square at the restaurants that offer you the traditional tastes of Turkish cuisine and continue your tour. We especially recommend you to eat the Sultanahmet meatballs in Sultanahmet Square. In the 17th century, the Blue Mosque is one of the most successful works of Turkish Islamic architecture, and it was built at the request of Sultan Ahmed I by Sedefkar Mehmet Aga, a student of Mimar Sinan. The mosque is one of the most magnificent structures in the city with its large complex. After visiting the inside of the mosque, we drink water from the German fountain in Sultan Ahmed Square and head towards the Hagia Sophia Mosque. Hagia Sophia, which is among the most important monuments in the history of world architecture that has survived until today. Hagia Sophia is the largest church built by the Eastern Roman Empire in Istanbul and was built three times in the same place. The building, which was open to worship as a church for 916 years, was converted into a mosque after Fadi Sultan Mehmed conquered Istanbul in 1453, then turned into a museum in 1935 by the order of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. After visiting this historical place, it will take you to a wonderful palace with its view by following the left side. Top Kapi Palace was completed in 1478, which started to work at the request of Fadi Sultan Mehmet. It is one of the palace museums. After visiting the palace, we come back to the Hagia Sophia Mosque side and visit the Basilica Cistern opposite the tram, where there can be a lot of queues. But the renovated cistern is worth seeing. The history of this structure, which is known as the Basilica Cistern among the people, dates back to the Byzantine period. This unique structure, operated by Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality serves both as a museum and hosts many events. Our evening stop is Gulhane Park. After a tiring day spent with culturally rich information, Gulhane Park, full of bird chirps and shaded by flowers and various trees, will be relaxing for you in the cool of the evening. The first day may be the most tiring day for you, but we say do not leave without seeing these nearby places. For dinner, you can follow the tramway and get off at the Eminonu stop below and enjoy fish and bread with the Bosphorus view. The second day, we continue our tour in Besiktas and Beoglu. Of course we are walking from the first Taksim Square to Istiklal Street. You can taste street foods in this famous and long street. And then you will see on the left side from Galatasaray to Tunnel on Istiklal Avenue, St. Antoine Church. A wonderful church that will impress you with its structure. Its construction started in 1906 and it was completed in 1912 and put into service. Architect Giulio was born in Istanbul. It is Mongeri. Managed by Italian priests, the church is the largest Catholic church in Istanbul. After visiting the church, we continue on our way to the Galata Tower, one of the most known historical buildings in Istanbul. It was built in 528 and took place on the stage of history with different names in the process. It has been stated as a result of the studies that the tower is 70 meters high including its roof, 4 meters wall thickness, and weighs approximately 10,000 tons. It will be an invaluable pleasure for you to go to the top and watch Istanbul. You can also take a tea and coffee break here and relax against the view. Then we go to Galataport, the world's first underground cruise terminal, using the Commando Stairs, 
also known as the Lover's Stairs, descending from the Galata Tower to Caracol. You can find many areas suitable for you in this place, which was established on the edge of the Bosphorus and designed with the concept of neighborhood, covering one point and two kilometers of coastline. You can spend time as you wish in this place, which contains 135 shops and 54 restaurants. While we are in the seaside, we continue our way from the coast, one of the magnificent structures of the Bosphorus. We are going to Dalmabas Palace, of course. You can also use the tram here. The facade of Dalmabas Palace, built by Sultan Abdulmasid I, stretches for 600 meters on the European shore of the Bosphorus. Dalmabas Palace is also important as the place where Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the founder of the Turkish Republic, spent his last days and died on November 10, 1938. Dalmabas Palace, the construction of which began in 1842 and continued until 1853, was used as a place of residence and official works during the reign of Abdulmasid. Royal palaces were built on the beach, which has been a natural harbor since ancient times, during the Byzantine period. After Dalmabas Palace, we go to a park with plenty of oxygen. This area, popularly known as Yildiz Park, is essentially the outer grove of Yildiz Palace and has an extremely rich vegetation. Walking trails, sitting and resting places, country cafes, and interesting landscaping have also been created in the park. Bosphorus can be watched, centuries-old trees inherited from past generations, water pools and ponds. It is an extremely important promenade for both city dwellers and visitors. Now it is evening time and is right time to visiting Ortica, the most beautiful place to go in the evening on the European side. When Ortica is mentioned, the unique view of Kumper and Ischiel Square comes to mind, just like a postcard. Ortica Mosque and Bosphorus Bridge, the symbol of the district on the left, the pier on the right, the Bosphorus and Baylor Bay Central views right in front of you, you can take your day's tiredness by drinking tea by the sea after taking photos in these beautiful places. On the third day if you have come to Istanbul for a three-day trip, the places we will recommend to you on the third day will be on the Anatolian side. If you are staying on the European side, we recommend you to cross the Bosphorus by ferry from Emanonu or Besiktas Pier. When you cross the street, you will have the chance to see Uskadar, the place where Hazarfin Shalebi started from the Galata Tower, the world's first human flight. After getting off the ferry on the Salakak coast, we start walking towards the Maiden's Tower, which you see on the ferry. You can sit on the cushions by the sea, stretch your feet, and enjoy Istanbul with bagels and tea. Afterwards, we take the buses that leave in front of the Maiden's Tower and go to Bakos. One of the most beautiful views of Istanbul is undoubtedly Senjuka Beach. Senjuka, where you will come across small fishing boats quite often, is one of the most suitable places to take photos. Senjuka, which is more enjoyable especially in the evening hours, is one of the must-visit places in Istanbul. Next, we go to the place with the cleanest air in Istanbul. We go to the Kanlika beach and of course our other reason is to eat the famous Kanlika yogurt. By the way, there are various rumors about the name of Kanlika. After getting fresh air, you can spend your last evening in Istanbul on Katakoy Baghdad Kadezi. By shopping at the stores of world-famous brands along the wide sidewalks, or by having fun at the venues where you can find all kinds of entertainment at night, and you can leave Istanbul with unforgettable memories. We have come to the end of a video. If you know a place that we missed or want to add, you can write it in the comments section. You can also thank us by subscribing to our channel. We wish everyone a good time.